North Carolina Senator Ted Budd joins us now. And, sir, it's good to have you on. Um, we have members of Congress, you just saw one, who clearly hate Israel. They clearly hate the West. They're still pushing this ridiculous narrative after it's been debunked, even today. You know, the squad, Ilhan, Rashida Tlaib, for sure, completely exposing itself in this, themselves in this moment. These people are dangerous. Yeah, they really are. We need to have people in Congress, uh, whether it's the House or the Senate where I am, that love our country and believe that this is an amazing anomaly uh, for the last 247 years that we need to protect and preserve uh, and continue to send great people to Washington, D.C. that uh, reflect the values of the rest of our country. Uh, look, let's remember what Israel is. It's been one of our greatest allies in times that are good and times that are bad. Uh, they've stuck with us. We've stuck with them. We're going to continue to do so. We need to give them everything that they need to defeat Hamas. Biden announcing $100 million in humanitarian aid today for Gaza, not for Israel. He has made our country such an easy mark. Take a listen to this. Today, I'm also announcing $100 million in new U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance in both Gaza and the West Bank. The aid should go to civilians, not to Hamas. Israel agreed humanitarian assistance can begin to move from Egypt to Gaza. Let me be clear, if Hamas diverts or steals the assistance, they will have demonstrated once again that they have no concern for the welfare of the Palestinian people. You know, the, the incompetence is incredible. Hamas always steals the aid for their own benefit. That's what they do. And here's Biden in this moment saying, let's throw another hundred million in aid. And hey, Hamas, if you do it again, well, then we're definitely now going to know that you're not nice people if you do it again. I mean, that's our president. Look, I mean, Iran has been sending them for 10 or 15 years, been sending them missiles and training. That's what we know. We know that the ostensible uh, humanitarian aid that's been sent to them through organizations, including the UN, uh, they've ended up with guns in the trucks, a bag that says food actually has bullets and ammunition. Um, they're not good actors. It's a guaranteed theft uh, for from the humanitarian purposes, and it will be used for illicit purposes, yeah. and it will be uh, part of their continued state sponsoring of terrorism. Um, it's an absolute uh, weakness on the part of Biden. Weakness is provocative. Uh, look what happened in the last two and a half years. Look at Ukraine. Look at uh, China threatening Taiwan. Look at what's now happened to Israel. Look at the 150 folks on the terrorist watch list that have come through our southern border. This is complete mismanagement, and you yeah. see more of that in the $100 million given to Gaza, which will go right directly to Hamas. Got a few seconds left here, but Biden speaking tomorrow at the White House, 8 p.m. He's going to demand more money for Ukraine and use the situation in Israel uh, and the southern border to bait Republicans into what it could be like $100 billion, billion in, in foreign aid funding. Um, your thoughts on this? Look, Americans are generous people. We love coming to the aid of our allies, but we don't uh, like doing it when we're very concerned about where the money's actually going to go and if there's somebody that can't manage well at the top on our side. That's our concern. Yeah. Well said. Senator, thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it.